الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه من المكثرين عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم برواية الحديث وهو أكثر الصحابة رضي الله عنهم رواية قال أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه مخاطبا المهاجرين والأنصار رضي الله عنهم قال إنكم تقولون أن أبا هريرة يكثر الحديث عن النبي عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فما بال المهاجرين والأنصار لا يحدثون عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بمثل ما يحدث أبا هريرة المهاجرين the companions who migrated from Mecca to Medina and Ansar are the protectors those companions who were in Medina who welcomed the Muhajirin. one time Abu Hurair heard them saying that why Abu Hurair narrates so many ahadith and talks so much about the Prophet وسلم, while the Muhajirin and the Ansar they don't talk about the Prophet وسلم, like Abu Hurairah does, meaning he talks too much, he knows too much about the Prophet وسلم, and they don't. Fakala Abu Huraira, Abu Huraira anhu, told them that in the Ikhwati min al Muhajirin Tashgaluhum Safkul Aswak. أو شغلتهم صفق بالأسواق وكنت ألزم النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم على ملء بطني فأحضر حين يغيبون وأحضر حين ينسون He said as for me the companions of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the muhajirin used to be busy in the market trying to earn money. We know that the companions when they migrated from Mecca they left everything. They lost their money, they lost their homes, everything, so they don't have any money. So they were busy trying to make money. As for me, Abu Hurair radiallahu anhu said, I used to stick with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when I have barely enough food to fill my stomach, meaning I wasn't looking for getting rich or making money, just barely surviving, meaning I am sacrificing dunya for the sake of seeking knowledge from the Prophet فقد اشتغلوا في أموالهم وإني رجل مسكين من مساكين أهل الصفة وقد كنت مسكينا من مساكين أهل الصفة فحفظت حين نسوا أو فحفظت وهم ينسون He said as for my brothers from the Ansar they used to be busy with their own money, with their property, because they were rich. So when you're rich, you're taking care of your money. And when you are poor, you're trying to make more money. As for him, he said, I wasn't trying to make money because I was just barely accepting to live on my fill, on the fill of my stomach. And I'm not like the Ansar, I did not have any property, I was very poor from the people of Ahl Sufa. Ahl Sufa is the poor companions whom the Prophet made sort of a shelter near the masjid 
where people just give them food to survive. Abu Huraira was one of those. Then he added, he said, وَقَدْ قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ ذَاتَ مَرَّةً قَالْ لَنْ يَبْسُطَ أَحَدٌ رِدَاءَهُ حَتَّى أَقْضِي مَقَالَتِي ثُمَّ يجمعه إليه إلا وعى ما قلت قال he said that one time Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said no one will spread his garment and then waits until I finish my speech and then he puts his garment together and holds it close to him to his chest but he will remember and memorize everything I say. Qala fakhala'tu namiratan kuntu albasuha wa basattuha hatta qada rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam maqalata thumma jama'tuha ila sadri fama nasitu min maqalatihi shay. So he said, I was wearing Namira, it's a colored garment. I took it off and then I spread it until the Prophet ﷺ finished his speech and then I put it together and held it against my chest and I have never forgotten any of the things that Prophet Muhammad ﷺ said. So what do we get from this hadith? We get from this hadith that Abu Hurair radiallahu anh was seeking knowledge and for seeking knowledge he sacrificed dunya not only he sacrificed dunya he took the advice of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said anyone spreads his garment and that's what helped him memorize so much hadith he was with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam all the time and then he fulfilled what the Prophet Sallallahu promised that if you do you will remember so he wasn't going after dunya to make money and he didn't have any property in dunya to maintain and he sacrificed everything for the sake of seeking knowledge this to tell you uh, the blessing of following the Sunnah as the Prophet ﷺ told him, do this, and he did it. This is the result of it. And the blessing of seeking knowledge. And how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made people different. Some people are satisfied with little from this dunya, and some people were going after a little bit more. At the same time, poverty can take you away from seeking knowledge and richness can take you away from seeking knowledge poverty because you want to be rich and richness because you want to maintain your richness and this is how people differ and this is how the Jannah levels and this is how Abu Hurair radiallahu an was so special in a matter of three and a half years or four years that he associated uh, himself with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he became number one hadith narrators amongst the Sahaba. All he uh, attended was approximately four years, under four years, and he was uh, such a wonderful narrator, over 4,000 hadith narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu an. And that's another specialty for Abu Huraira that uh, he was given an exception uh, from delaying witter prayer until the end of the night. In one hadith, uh, the Prophet ﷺ told Abu Huraira to not go to sleep before he makes witter. Yet, in another hadith, he said, you should delay witter until you make it the end of your night. And the ulama said, because Abu Hurair radiallahu anh used to stay up late 
working with the hadith, memorizing and reviewing and such. So when he sleeps, it's hard for him to wake up and do the witter. So he gave him uh, that special hadith where do witter before you go to sleep because he was busy in seeking knowledge. So what are you going to take home with? Uh, what are you going to take home from me from this hadith? Get busy in memorizing hadith. Don't get too busy in making money. And if you are rich, be content with what you have. Give more zakat to masajid and schools and needy people. You will maintain your money and you get more money. And be special in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by following the sunnah. Sunnah takes you to Jannah. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.